Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Dalrin, and in today's video, we'll be taking a look at some of the Shaman changes. Blizzard in this update primarily wanted to adjust the output of the ability Ascendance, one of those abilities that was not taken off of GCD. Blizzard decided to do what they did with the rest of Shaman. Upon using Ascendance, a powerful ability will trigger right afterwards, allowing Shamans to do a little bit extra damage from the elemental and enhancement perspective. Also, a variety of abilities and talents for Elemental have been adjusted, whether it be by Damage or by Maelstrom. So in this video, I want to cover all the updates that Enhancement and Elemental have gotten, with the primary one being the big Ascendance buffs for the both specs. So I'm going to start off as Enhancement, and just letting you guys know, if you see any ability usages on any of the enemies, like this guy is getting beat up, for some reason, I can't see other players. Something about this character is bugged. Uh, so if you see uh, just random effects happening on any of the chain dummies that I'm attacking, don't worry about it. It's kind of normal, even though I feel like it shouldn't be. So let's take a look at everything that's new with Shamans. So Blizzard for Enhancement didn't really do much. They mostly adjusted the Ascendance, which is quite interesting. They did, however, also adjust the Flame Shock damage for both Shamans. It looks like Flame Shock is going to do slightly less damage. It's from 105% of spell power down to 104.4% spell power so it looks like the dot is a little bit weaker they did not change the duration of this ability at all it is still 18 seconds a lot of shamans asked for like hey could it be like 30 seconds so we could maintain dots a little bit easier but it looks like blizzard is going to be keeping flame shock on a lower cooldown uh, or a lower duration probably so the shamans part of their gameplay core gameplay is going to be maintenance of flame shock uh, so hopefully flame shock damage will pan out to be worth it so, Enhancement and Maelstrom Weapon. A lot of you guys have asked, how does Maelstrom Weapon work? Why can this stack up to 10 times rather than the old school 5? And what does the damage do? So, let me go over this one real quickly, just to make sure you guys are aware and understand. So, Enhancement Shamans, as they use abilities with melee attacks, they generate Maelstrom. Once you have enough Maelstrom, you can use abilities like Lightning Bolt to do more damage and be instant cast. Which is cool. I really like the mechanic about Enhance. So, Blizzard made it for the ease of gameplay, is that you can build up Maelstrom past 5. Normally, in other expansions, older expansions, every time that you would, um, every time that you would gain Maelstrom at 5 stacks, you immediately would need to press Lightning Bolt. But your auto attacks and certain ability procs can still generate your Maelstrom, so you'll be over capping Maelstrom. Blizzard wanted to give you a gap of 10. Uh, but only using five maelstrom at a time for maximum damage but you can stack up more in case you're just getting mad procs like if you're getting storm strikes that'll be your priority damage since that seems to do a lot of damage yeah so that's kind of how that works so if you weren't if you were confused why can it let you stack past 10 will past 10 increase the damage further why are you just using it at five stacks it's there just to give you extra it's like almost like giving rogues extra comp points like you can stack up to 10 but the max you can use at 5. So, just want to make sure that that's out there. Because uh, I've gotten a lot of questions about this on live stream. Okay, let's take a look at the Enhancement Ascendance. Enhancement Ascendance will make you do a ton of damage. 3,199 nature damage to an enemy within 8 yards. It says to any enemy. That means if enemies are stacked together, you will actually do this massive blast. So let me show what that looks like when I'm standing between two enemies right here. Bah! It looks kind of cool. And it can crit too. This is really cool. Since enhancement, you're going to be in melee anyway. And after using this ability, you can kind of just, you know, back up. You'll have auto attacks. You'll have wind strikes that you can use from far. If, let's say, you need to kite someone in PvP. But it does mean that you will need to get on top of somebody to use this ability. And you can see the damage it did with two crits. It's kind of nutty. Look at the damage it did. Like, I'm not actually trying to go through what some abilities. The amount of bursts this offers to you in the opener. Man, this is going to be good. So for a 3 minute cooldown to do that much damage to a bunch of enemies, this is going to be awesome. And hopefully the damage in PvP will pan out, where it will actually be quite a decent amount of damage. I think it will scale with mastery since it is nature damage. So hopefully as people stack certain stats, hopefully there will be a build to make this ability even stronger. But that should hopefully make Ascendance a little bit better, especially in Mythic Plus and AoE situations. Also it's going to make it a little bit better for single target boss fights since now you're not just pressing a global and nothing happens. If only Blizzard can do this with Feral Spirits, or take Feral Spirits off of GCD, I think that would be great. So then that would feel very, very smooth. Because Enhancement Shaman playstyle is really good. I like it personally. But I do think there's some things with GCD that like Ghost Wolves. If that was off GCD, that would feel ooh, so nice. 
Okay, now we have some changes to the Elemental Shaman. Let's first go over all the other talents that have gotten adjusted recently, primarily having to do with Maelstrom. And then we'll talk a bit about a sentence and what you can do with that one. So, take a look at some of the talents we have for Shaman. In the first row, we have Static Discharge. This ability has been buffed quite a bit. It actually ha does double the damage now, which I think a little less than double the damage. It almost does double the damage, but at least is a better ability now. Static Discharge, while you have a Lightning Shield, it'll discharge excess energy from it, whatever that means, dealing nature damage to an enemy within 40 yards every half a second for 3 seconds. So it will be 6 different hits, and it'll try to prioritize enemies with your Flame Shock on the target. So it has quite a bit of range when you press it, it will try to prioritize enemies with Flame Shock. Now this amount of damage is really not bad compared to what it was, and I really do need to go and test it inside of dungeons to see if it's any worth. Um, maybe it will be better for single target, for fights, maybe it will be pretty good for PvP, for burst, but with how strong Echo of Elements is, I still doubt the Static Discharge is going to replace it. I feel like Echo of Elements is going to become the go-to, especially towards the end of the expansion, so Static Discharge might need to be buffed at a later time more in order to stay relevant. So hopefully Blizzard makes some adjustments right now. I think it would be a cool ability if it had more cleave potential, like Earthen Rage will just hit any enemy you hit. Get an extra stack of lava burst is kind of cool and if static charges hit every enemy with flame shock i think it'll be a much stronger ability that way then we have some changes to aftershock aftershock will now both use earth shock and earthquake just like the live version so aftershock returns i still think i'll end up using echo and shock myself especially since they added earthquake as an ability you can use with echo and shock which at first when i tried it it didn't do anything but apparently it was supposed to be usable on Earthquake. I just guessed that it wasn't. So Aftershock, Earthquake, all of them are going to be really good. Elemental Blast finally generates Maelstrom instead of using Maelstrom. But I still don't know how strong this ability is going to be. I played with it and it's kind of nice. Uh, but I don't think it's strong enough. Like at this point I'd be okay if they just add it as a baseline. Because I think Echo and Shock is just so good. I think so many combos, especially with the buffs to Ascendance. I don't really know if Elemental Blast will get too much play. But who knows? Ice Fury has been adjusted as well. A lot of you guys commented on that before. It finally generates proper Maelstrom. The Ice Fury itself generates 25 Maelstrom. And it says here that Frost Shocks generate 8 Maelstrom. I think prior to this, prior to this update, it was just a tooltip error where they didn't say that Frost Shocks generate Maelstrom. But I think they actually did, or the other way around. Either way, it seems like tooltip and the actual ability do line up. They Pro I think it generates Maelstrom. Let's actually check just to make sure. I feel like if you have to ask yourself, well, does it actually? Let's check to make sure. So Ice Fury generates Maelstrom. Frost Shocks do generate Maelstrom, as you can see, 41, 49. So they do generate 8 Maelstrom. So this ability finally works as properly as it can be. So I guess that's not that bad. It seems like everything works for Elemental Shaman okay. I still would love for Equivalent Elements to become Baseline, but maybe we'll just have to wait until that happens. So then we have the big one, the Ascendance. Just from into a Flame Ascendant for 15 seconds. Replacing a Chain Lightning with Lava Beam, removing cooldown of Lava Burst, and increasing damage of Lava Burst by an amount equal to your Critical Strike chance. When you just from into a Flame Ascendant, instantly cast a Lava Burst at all enemies affected by your Flame Shock, and refresh your Flame Shock durations to 18 seconds. So this has got a couple layers to it. The free Lava Burst is going to be nuts, but also... The refresh of flame shock is also going to be nuts doesn't fire elemental has to do anything with flame shocks while elemental is active flame shock deals damage 25 percent faster newly applied flame shocks last 100 percent longer so is this going to override the fire element you might have to use these abilities at a different like you might have to go fire elemental i think ascendance might override the fire ellie hopefully it doesn't i've never tried this before so hopefully it doesn't do what i think it's going to do but yeah, let's give it a go. There's actually even a powerful combination with Primordial Wave. Blast target with Primordial Wave dealing 1,000 shadow damage and applying Flame Shock to an enemy or heal an ally for 1,000. The next Lava Burst will also hit all targets afflicted by a Flame Shock. Then you have the ability of Echo in Shock, which will replicate the next ability you use. So with Shamans, if you are able to get long durations on your Flame Shocks, you might be able to do quite a lot of damage. Let me zoom out for this just so we can see a little bit of this mayhem. And let's try to see if we can get a fire elemental out and spread as many flame shocks as we can on enemies. I want to try this combo. I had to ask Tickle exactly what talents he's running to make this happen. 
So this is thanks to Tickle helping me out here. I'm gonna pop the. I don't really know if he berserking if it's gonna make anything better or faster. Okay, we got Primordial Wave here. We got ourselves uh, Echo and Shock and. <laughs> oh my God! The amount of <laughs> what? That is so cool! Everybody, oh, it's a fresh flame shock too. Oh my goodness, is this strong? Wow, yeah. So people are using this in PvP to just one shot each other with just a load of lava burst into a single target. This is really strong. The amount of AOE damage that can do, and the combo between Primordial Wave, Echo, and Shock into Ascendance. Tickle also talked to me before how in PvP you can go Sky Fury Tone to increase the damage even further because your Lava Burst is going to be 100% crit. Increases critical effect damage and healing of nearby allies' spells by 20%. So that's going to be a lot of damage. And you can play with Control Lava as well. Lava Burst damage is increased by 25%. Your Flame Shock damage over time has a 10% chance to reset the main cooldown of Lava Burst and increases damage by 25 but no longer gives you insta-cast Lava Burst. So whether you play instant cast lava burst to rapid fire them or to go for a big one in PvP is going to be huge. So let me just go and try this again. I guess once uh, Ascendance is back, we'll see how good it's going to be on single target. But the biggest question that a lot of players were asking and wondering from Blizzard is, are we finally going to be able to drop Stormkeeper? Now, Stormkeeper is good and the damage with your overloads and lightning bolts and chain lightning is still going to be the play probably in Mythic Pluses where you can just use this on lightning, uh, chain lightning. It's on a short cooldown of one minute. You can use it on boss fight or add fights. So it has this flexibility. A uh, ability to trigger elemental overload. So it's going to be a lot of maelstrom. You can go for a big chain lightning on a group of enemies, drop down a earthquake or even chain lightning, echo and shock, double earthquake if you want to. Or with aftershock, a bunch of earthquakes if you get lucky on the rolls. So there's definitely some play with this ability. Right? It's it's always going to be strong. Come on, it's Stormkeeper. It's, it was a Legion artifact weapon at some point. Unlimited power is just not as good, or it is good in very unique situations. In BFA, it actually found some play, but I think people are doubting that it's going to be that good, at least for a good portion of the expansion, or at least for the beginning. It's not a bad talent on its own, it just doesn't really synergize into the playstyle until you get some gear. Ascendance, however, on a 3 minute cooldown, never really felt strong enough to replace Stormkeeper. At some point, I think back in MOB, everybody played Ascendance. I think it's because it wasn't even a talent. I think it was just a baseline. Every Shaman got it at some point, or when you got a high enough level. So every Shaman was just dumpstering people with mad Ascendance. So Ascendance has been behind Stormkeeper for a bit. At a 3 minute cooldown, it never really felt worth, whether you use it for AoE with your Chain Lightning becoming Lava Beam, or for a bunch of Lava Bursts. But with this combo, especially if you end up going for the Necrolord Covenant, which I think should definitely be on your radar as a Shaman, Primordial Wave is a really cool ability. And when I first tried it out, when they first added it, I actually loved it. The amount of damage it could do and it's just the hilarity of it all. I think most of the Shaman abilities have gotten a little bit better, like the Venthyr one gotten better. The Kyrian one was, I think, really surprisingly good from the start. But Primordial Wave really grew into itself. So next Lava Burst will also hit. All targets affected by flame shock. So you already have primordial wave that makes your lava burst hit every enemy with flame shock, but you also have uh, your ascendance that will also send a lava burst at every enemy with flame shock. So it's really, really interesting. So let's summon the elemental just so we can get a longer duration on our flame shocks, just so we can kind of two target cleave. We'll kind of do a little bit off cleave on the side. Primordial wave, right? Got that off into big dam into big uh, dam. <laughs> <laughs> How many lava bursts was that into this one target right now? It was like three or something. Back, six? Five? I don't even know how many. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Also, I think it would be kind of cool if I went for a lava burst into Ascendance. Would that give me even more lava bursts? Overloads. Oh my goodness. The amount of damage you could do to a single target. <laughs> this is so cool. I really, really like this. And this is a character with no gear whatsoever, so I didn't even put on... Any good gear, just get the right trinkets with intellect and intellect gear. <laughs> but this is great. This is this is awesome. I actually like this a lot. Hopefully, this makes uh, ascendance a little bit more considered. Right now, people are really messing with this in PvP and are just getting mad one shots into each other. If you ever seen C do, pretty sure you'll see a clip floating around of him just dumpstering people, actually soloing people as a, in uh, elemental by himself. <laughs> this is really really cool. 
Hopefully Blizzard balances it, but not to the point where they just nuke this ability for Morbid or anything like that. Because this is fun. I'm not gonna lie. This is kind of fun. I'm actually having some fun with this. <laughs> this is quite cool. <laughs> yeah, together with this and then go for a big old Earthshock right after. Especially if you're playing Master of the Elements. I think that could be a really strong combo. Yeah, this is really, really fun. <laughs> this is at least better than a 7 Ascendants do nothing. And this is a nice compromise on giving Ascendance full off GCD because now it has an extra effect. I think for Enhancement, this is going to be quite good. For Elementals, this has potential. It's probably going to be really insane in PvP until they fix it. So hopefully they don't really nerf it too hard. I really like the idea of Elemental Shamans having this on-demand mad burst when they need it instead of, you know, just lassoing people all day. I think transition away from that lasso doing a good portion of your damage to like lava burst doing a lot of your damage i think it's going to be kind of cool hopefully it won't become the next warlock with its chaos bolts and infernals but at least this is going to be a little bit more fun than some of the old school same old same old gameplay that shamans might experience going from last expansion into this one so thank you guys so much for checking out this video on Shaman Updates. Let me know what you think about the changes to the Ascendance for both Elemental and Enhancement. Do you think they're worth or maybe Blizzard should have just done something different just by maybe taking those both abilities off of GCD? Also, what do you think about some of the changes to Elemental? And do you think Ascendance Lava Burst playstyle has potential? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see all of you in another video.